Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ when the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Now what is the major product of these reactions? This is the molecule H+. And if you look at all the options from there, something rearrangement is happening. So this is actually a rearrangement reaction. And what is the name of this reaction? Dinone phenol rearrangement. Why? Because product is a phenol derivative. And starting is called diene-one. Diene. So two double bond, that's why it is diene. It is attached with a carbonyl. So it is diene-one. And by the way, it is attached with a five member ring. Okay, so this is. Now, if you look at this molecule, we know alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl can have a resonance. Resonance means, so this bond can come here, it can go there. So in this way, it produce this canonical form. Means there is a six member ring and a five member ring as it is. Positive charge is here because this bond is gone double bond here O minus and another double bond is intact by the way remember in another canonical form I mean next canonical form it can also participate so I am not going so what message I am giving that actually if you look at this is called the alpha position this is called the beta position so this beta and beta prime are electron deficient because of the resonance now you do another thing you have added acid where the H plus will attach initially we understand that because of resonance I can say this carbonyl group is more electron rich so if it is more electron rich then protonation on this carbonyl group will take place preferentially yes so one there are two oxygen lone pairs so one of them will participate in protonation means H plus addition so it looks like this now Previously, carbonyl group was electron withdrawing deficient. So, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl have this canonical form positive charge. Now, here you have added H plus. H plus, actually, if you look at in H plus, there is no electron. So, it's electron deficient molecule or ion. So, that is attached to this. So, it is carrying a positive charge. Remember, positive charge means deficiency of electron. So, here you have introduced a further electron deficiency so the contribution for this canonical form will increase further so that is the main reason behind this protonation so there will be double bond positive charge here this, and there is a five member ring now what will take place actually this is the main point in this problem now in next place there will be a CC migration from here to here. By the way previously one hydrogen exists remember. So what will be the product? So obviously OH this is this is there is one hydrogen and now whenever there is a migration I suggest student write everything as it is. Here this 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 so previously if you look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this 5 is attached to another one. So right now it's a 6 member ring. Okay. Now since this part migrated with the bond pair. Since it migrated with the bond pair. So positive charge will now be here. Now question what is the benefit? Is there any extra stabilization? Uh, to some extent yes. And if you think what is the stability of this carbocation, it was in conjugation with this two double bond. Right now also it is in conjugation with this two double bond. So from that point, no significant difference. But the next step is important. But one thing I want to mention, another point. When positive charge was here, it was a secondary carbocation. But right now here, it is a tertiary carbocation. So from that point, you can say sir, some amount of stability is gained because of this migration. Next point. Next point, this H plus, actually this hydrogen is removed, this bond pair goes. What is the product? So draw everything as it is. By the way, student, at the beginning, your drawing quality may be very less. 
more and more you practice more and more improvement you will observe on your drawing so this is now after removal of h plus what happened such kind of thing so can i say in first step h plus is gain second step h plus is eliminate so can i say h plus is acting as a catalyst because what is the definition of a catalyst catalyst is a substrate that participates in a chemical reaction changes the rate of the reaction at the end remain unaffected means comes out so here i can say h plus is acting as a catalyst for this dienone phenol rearrangement now another question may come what is the driving force or motivation for this reaction see if you look at here this initial molecule starting material was non aromatic why because sp3 carbon so it was non aromatic at the beginning cancel but if you look at this part it's a phenol so you can say aromatic we know aromatic aromaticity is a stability it's a huge stability so because of this reaction huge stability is obtained so that is actually the driving force for this reaction okay so this thing we understand so what is so it is actually a phenol derivative and the carbon position previously oxygen carbon orientation was para right now one para one meta this with respect to this bond wage group one para one meta let's go so here one para one meta so okay look at this is oh this is one para one meta actually i know it's a my strategy to remember okay now so this is the answer now if this question appear in your exam how can you solve first you need to understand okay sir some rearrangement took place and that's the reason you see four aromatic compound in four cases benzene ring is produced now one common sense thing i want to say student whenever you feel any reaction complicated or option doesn't look similar means you are completely confused or messed up do one thing it's my suggestion check the carbon count here if you look at okay sir you mean sir, sir six carbon here four carbon from here so total 10 carbon i'm not considering oxygen 10 carbon look at six here five here 11 carbon okay so it's a c10 c11 same thing here also c11 is it possible i have added h plus only no carbon reagent i have added so using this common sense student you can eliminate this dummy option so i guess you have understand this how much helpful this common sense is okay now next point you may think okay sir this much we understand so okay now what will be the product now there is a rearrangement so one rearranged here and you get phenol in this option another case further it will come from another will this come from here to here not possible remember one two migration possible one three migration not similar thing you can say one thing sir that uh, whatever previously produced this one it will undergo migration further means this bond will go there then what will be the product so one side there will be a six member ring i agree this is now here if you look at so this this and again four carbon student very very unstable not possible i guess you haven't seen such kind of structure so this thing this thought is also wrong okay so which one is left option c these are called the process of elimination means removing dummy option such that option reduced you can decide quickly because time matters you need to solve you need to practice everything less than 30 second less than 30 second more than that you cannot take and this is actually a mechanism based question for that purpose first you know what kind of reaction is happening name reaction second mechanism third practice such that quickly you can come up to the right answer okay so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching and if you really enjoy the content of my channel then please help this channel to grow and regarding any doubt about the logo of my channel please read this part your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video bye bye